came inside and asked, could we use the restroom? Yeah. She told him, yeah, you could go upstairs. But he didn't go. Okay. He just went on out the door, and now he's kind of hanging out front. All right, I'll ask him to. So just sweetly ask him to just yeah. float along. Yes, ma'am. I'll take care of that for you. <laughs> I can't stand in front of my seat hall to my sports home the jet. Property. Like, he can't stand in front of my seat hall to my sports home the jet. Like, well, I mean, we can't have that. So, is there a reason why you want to stand here? God put it in my heart to stand right here and spread the message. God bless the homeless veterans. I'm all, I'm all for that. I'm all, all right. I ain't not doing anything wrong. You're not breaking any laws by any means. Okay. Uh, you're not breaking any laws. You're not in trouble. Yeah, I, but you said I'm not breaking any laws or anything. Well, no. It's, technically, he's not breaking any laws, but he's on city property, so yes. we can ask him to leave. Yes. Um, and that's what I told him. I said, you're not breaking any laws. The ladies don't feel comfortable with you standing out here. Not. He was polite about it. And I said, well, you're not breaking any laws, but I said, listen, you're not breaking the law essentially by standing out with a sign. And just said, look, you're not, you're not really breaking the law, I said, other than the fact that the ladies don't want you sitting here in front of City Hall. Go ahead. Come up here to change the thermostat and dag, um, drop off my direct deposit. And as I pull up, there's a guy walking up with a sign. And apparently he came in to use, while I was upstairs, he came and asked to use the bathroom. And um, he had like a homeless veteran sign. But he wasn't like pandering or asking for money, he's just holding the sign. So he comes in to use the bathroom and then walks directly back out, doesn't even use the bathroom, and then comes back around and stands in front of City Hall, just showing the sign. Normally not breaking any laws. The ladies up here didn't feel comfortable with him just standing up here, so they were asking me to ask him to leave. And I'm like, all right, cool, it's city property, no problem. He says, look, man, you're not breaking the law. I said, but the ladies don't want you up here. So essentially, if you don't want to leave, I can trespass you and then make you leave the property. And uh, so then I asked him for his identification because it kept going. He started playing the game, started recording the, recording the interaction, trying to draw it out. I told him, go ahead and give me your ID. And I asked for it several times. He wouldn't do it. So I arrested him for obstruction. As many of you may remember, back in July of 2021, I was unlawfully arrested in the city of Port Wentworth, Georgia, while politely engaged in freedom of speech and freedom of religion, while peacefully standing on a public sidewalk, also known as a traditional public forum outside of the Port Wentworth, Georgia City Hall, only to be arrested by one of the dumbest cops I've ever encountered, Sergeant Heminger of the City of Port Wentworth Police Department, who was acting under the direction of one of the dumbest city employees I've ever encountered, Shanta Scarborough, City of Port Wentworth, Georgia. This arrest was as clear-cut, black-and-white, cut-and-dry a civil rights violation as you could possibly get. Yet more than a year later, the state of Georgia is actually pursuing prosecution against me for the bogus charge of obstruction, as you can see here in this document. In the state court of Chatham County, state of Georgia, the state of Georgia versus Jeffrey Marcus Gray, defendant. Accusation, count one, obstruction of an officer. On behalf of the people of the state of Georgia, the undersigned as prosecuting attorney for the county of Chatham and the state of Georgia, does hereby charge and accuse Jeffrey Marcus Gray with the offense of obstruction of an officer for that said Jeffrey Marcus Gray in this county of Chatham in the state of Georgia on or about the 19th day of July 2021 did knowingly and willfully obstruct Officer Heminger, a law enforcement officer with the city of Port Wentworth, Georgia, in the lawful discharge of his official duties by failing to provide identification contrary to the laws of the state of Georgia, the good order, peace, and dignity thereof. Sign, Shalina Cook-Jones, District Attorney, Eastern Judicial Circuit of the State of Georgia. Shalina Cook-Jones, you big dummy. Yep, that's correct, folks. It seems that old Shalina Cook-Jones here wants to establish new legal precedent by prosecuting and outlawing our First Amendment protected rights of freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of assembly. He came inside and asked, could we use the restroom? Yeah. She told him, yeah, you could go upstairs, but he didn't go. Okay. He just went on out the door, and now he's kind of hanging out front. All right, I'll ask him to. So just oh, sweetly ask him to just yeah. float along. Yes, ma'am. I'll take care of that for you. <laughs> I love serving multi-purpose roles. Just to let you know, we also reset the uh, AC to 72 upstairs, oh, so it'd be okay, cool good. for you guys for the... Good, thank you. Yeah, but he's just standing out whatever this time. All right. <sighs> Let's see what's going on. What's going on, brother? Hey, not much. How you doing, man? All right. Doing okay? Yes. All right. Um, what's your first name? Sergeant Hemminger. Yeah. Uh, my name first name is Jeff. Jeff. Jeff? Yes, sir. All right, Jeff. Hey, man, um, 
First, I appreciate I appreciate the sign. That's awesome. Hard hearing, so can you speak up? Yes, sir. So I appreciate the sign. That's pretty awesome. Um, the uh, the ladies in front have asked me if you could go find another location to hang out. Uh, I mean, okay. not doing anything wrong. You're not breaking any laws by any means. Okay. They just right here in front of City Hall is a little bit different area. You know what I'm saying? It's a city property. Um, city property. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, you can go legitimately. You can go at the corner on this side of the grass. You can go anywhere along the side of the road. Yes. Just this is city property, so they were asking if you don't mind just find their location. Uh, you're I'd not breaking not. laws, you're not in trouble. Yeah, I'd rather not. I'd rather well, just hang out here. Well, that's kind of the issue. They don't, they don't want you sitting out here. Uh, okay. So, because it's city property, so they can ask you to leave if they want you to. But you said I'm not breaking any laws or anything? Well, no, but they're also the, the city owns the property, so they can ask you just to hang out somewhere else. I'd rather not. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Four thirteen. Four thirteen. Seventy one in front of City Hall. Uh non combative, but can you start me a patrol unit? Four one three, City Hall, seven one. Alright, so technically he's not breaking laws, but he's on city property, so yes. we can ask him to leave. Yes. Um, and that's why I told him, I said, You're not breaking any laws, the ladies don't feel comfortable with you standing out here. Got it. I said, You're welcome to go stand over in the corner, down there, down there, down there. So now if he doesn't leave, it's trespassing. Okay. Well so hopefully he was just going He's already right well he's like, I don't I don't feel like leaving. I was like, Well, I get that, but he's, he's like, like I'd rather not. Feel like, like it? Is that what he's he he's oh, really he just, he'd rather not. He was polite about it. And I said, well, you're not breaking laws, but you're all on city property. I said, it's owned by the city. If they want, they don't feel comfortable with you standing out here, even though you're spreading a good message, you have to leave the property. Yeah, he can't stand in front of my city hall to my sports on the jet. Like, well, I mean, we can't have that. if it wasn't city property, he, and, you know, but, it, but considering it's city property, it's considered private property. Yeah. So he can go stand on the roadside anywhere else. So I got a patrol unit coming. That way I can talk to him some more and see what's going on. And then, I'll be, and then I got to come see you. <laughs> So, I'm not trying to give you a hard time, dude. Okay. So, is there a reason why you want to stand here? God put it in my heart to stand right here and spread the message. God bless the homeless but I'm all, I'm all for that. I'm all okay. for you recording. I got no issue with that, okay? All right. I got my body cam on. So, uh, okay. I don't even know what that's for. Probably so you get across the intersection. <laughs> Anyways, so what I did was I called for a patrol unit because I'm actually working for the code enforcement section, okay? I'm still a police officer. This is city property, okay? okay? And you do have the right to spread your message anywhere you want, unless it's private property. Okay. Okay. Then they have the right to ask you to leave. They can't tell you tell your sign up or anything like that, right. but that's the whole point of why I was out here okay. talking to you. The ladies didn't feel comfortable with somebody just hanging out in front of city hall. Okay. Um, and being that it's on city property, they have the right to ask you to leave. You can go stand on that corner. You can go stand anywhere it's not actual city property and do as you wish, brother, and spread the message. Okay. So that's, that's all I'm saying, okay? Right. Now, if you refuse to leave, then it would be trespassing. And then you'd be in trouble. So I'm asking you nicely, it's just to relocate. That's all I'm asking you to do. Right. You can go spread that message with love any way you want, other than city property right here. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? This is city property. This, this all this is city hall. It's just city property. All right. It might be a trespass. As of now, you are. Give me your ID. Uh, now, now we're now it's an investigation. I'm I'll going to leave. No. Give me your ID. You're not free to go now. Because now you want to play the game. Go ahead and give me your identification. If you're trespassing me, I'll leave. Give me the identification or you're going to jail. Give me my... Give me my identification so I can identify you and I can trespass you. Then you can leave. If, if I'm not going to ask you a third time. If I get arrested, I'll go to... I'll lose my job. I'm not trying to arrest you. I'm trying to get you to comply with me and you're trying to refuse to do that. So listen to me carefully. I want your identification so I can identify what you and trespass you. What crime do you suspect you. me of? Sir? What crime do you suspect me of? You're, you're failing to, to follow a lawful order, which is they've asked you to leave city property or asked me to ask you to leave. You're refusing to do so. Now I'm going to trespass you from the property because I asked you three times nicely to can step off somewhere else. Leave, no, now you wanted to refuse, so now I'm going to identify you and I can trespass you. If I don't give you my ID, I'll go to jail. That's exactly correct. You'll be arrested. You'll be fingerprinted and released. 
Yeah. All I want is your identification. No, because you, not because of the sign, but because you failed to comply with my investigation, which was, I asked you to leave nicely initially, you wanted to play the game with me, now I'm playing the game with you. Well, I said let I me have your, stop, I let me have your identification. I said I would Identification. Not I, I'm not going to say it. I'm engaged in constitutional Handcuffs. Protection. Turn around. I'm engaged in constitutional Turn around. Let me see your sign. You put your phone in your pocket. All you have to do is come give me your ID, bud. Why, what's so hard with that? You, you know the game because you want to say, am I being trespassed? You could have gave me your ID. I would have trespassed you and let you walk off, brother. Yeah, you were, you were telling me to leave. I would rather not leave. No, you're, you're playing the game with me is what you're doing. If you're trespassing me, I'll leave. I asked you to leave before that. You wanted to play the game and make me trespass you. Don't play dumb games, man. It's going to get you in trouble. Right. Don't turn it. Why are you stopping I'm putting the recording? It in your phone. I'm putting it in your... You just stopped the recording and that's... It's all recorded right here. And it's all recorded right here. I'm saving you your battery. take my phone and start recording again? Sure, gladly. If that's what you want me to do, brother, I will yes. do that for you. Thank you. There you go. Can you put it in my shirt pocket right here? I'm going to put it in this pocket because it won't fall out because it's an iPhone. I don't want to break it, dude. Right. I don't have the money to replace your phone. You see how this easy this would have been? Here, officer, here's my ID. Now, I probably would have trespassed you because I asked you at least five to six times to step off the property. You said politely that you didn't want to do that. I didn't have a problem with that. I went back and asked the ladies, I said, what do you feel comfortable with? They said, no, I don't feel comfortable with them staying out here because there's a bunch of ladies that work in here. Even though you're not being violent, they have the right to ask you to leave, partner. All you had to do is go step off to the next land property over there and you could spread the message of love all day. You understand what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to bust your chops, man. I'm just doing my job. I'm going to remain silent for this point. Okay, you have that right. You have that right. The only thing you have to answer is name, date of birth, and about your current address. Is all that current on your license? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. All right, hang tight for a second. I'm gonna grab your sign so we can take that with you, okay? You had to take him on in, huh? Yeah, he's under arrest. Um, okay. I asked him four more times. I said, listen, you're not breaking the law essentially by standing out with a sign. I said, but ladies don't feel comfortable with you being on, on the property because it's just a bunch of ladies, even though you're not being disorderly. I said, they have the right to ask you to leave. It is city hall property. All you have to do is go to the next corner over here, out on towards the road. As long as you're not on the roadway, you can go anywhere else, and I'll let you walk off. So he wanted, he's like, he started playing the game. Well, am I being trespassed? I was like, you know what, let me have your ID. And they refused to give it to me, so now it was oh, being charged okay. with uh, obstruction. So, right. Yeah, he's like, well, I'll just leave now. I was like, no, 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 we're past that point now. We're playing oh, the game. Oh, see, there, I gave you a chance. Mm-hmm. So. I'm gonna take his sign and everything with him. He's gonna end up getting released, but I'm gonna have him banned from the property, Good. from City Hall. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. That's all I'm doing. They're not public property, saying God bless the homeless veterans. Right, but they asked you just to go stand on the corner. It's just because there's a bunch of ladies up here. That's all it was. And then you tried to play the game with me, right? I'm not oh, but you, you don't understand. I have to keep you talking to our vets. I mean, we care about that, but but we also have rules. But you can't just do what you want. And then when I asked you to leave, and you said, well, I'm being trespassed. I said, well, not yet, but I'm trying to help you just walk off. And he said, well, I'm being trespassed. I said, okay, now we're going to play the game. And then you refused to give me your ID. That was a big problem. Now you're under arrest for obstruction. Can one of y'all put him in the car? Follow this officer over here. Double check on the car. I asked him like six times, I said, look, you're not, you're not really breaking the law. I said, other than the fact that the ladies don't want you sitting here in front of City Hall, you can spread the love any way you want to. Sure. Just go stand on that corner, down there, anywhere else. I said, so just, I need you to leave, dude, because they don't feel comfortable with you being up here. It's city property, they can ask you to leave. property and he'd be fine. Yeah. So after like six times of that, I was like, yo, uh, he says, I said, well, okay, you know what? I said, are you going to leave? He's like, am I being trespassed? I was like, now we're playing the game. Okay, let me have your ID. He refused three times to give it to me. Done. So. It would have been very easy. You kept that. I'm going to put this in uh, what, uh, what's this? What's in Florida. Florida. I didn't check it. I'm running real quick. Yeah. I'm going to run it on my tablet. Just come over here. I change my damn direct deposit, dude. Shit. Is it the bank Yeah, you know what? It's not the bank anymore, but yes, ma'am. City Hall is open. They moved the bank. Um, Yes, ma'am. If you go right back out here to the light and you go right, you know where the um, the new little gas station is right here, the pumping gun? Yeah. It's right in that same little plaza up there. All right. Okay? Thank you, because it pulled up this address. No, you're good. Well, they have they have an ATM here still that's for Renaissance, but the actual bank is over that way. Oh, all right. Okay? Thank you. All right, ladies. Have a good one. Sorry to interrupt y'all. No, y'all go good.
Eight years active Not duty. All we want you to do is just do the right thing, man. Just do, you know, we all have rules. 413. Balls, That's it. What happened to you? 10 one male. Alright. Leave his, he wanted his phone to stay recording, but now he's under arrest, so we can't. I mean, all of our shit's going, so he can yeah. he can do a. He can do open records request. I left it while the employee was under arrest. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So. All right. All right. It's his sign and whatever else he's got. All and right. if I first started talking to him, he's being cool, man. I was like, yeah, I appreciate the message. It's all good. I said, listen to me, though. I said, the ladies in the office just don't feel comfortable with somebody just standing out here. I said, they just want you to go stand, you know, on the other piece of property. Where was he at? When uh, right right in the literally in the doorway. Well, away from it, but like by the pillars. Uh, I said, well, I mean, that's in the doorway. Well, yeah. And she said, well, and he came in to use the bathroom. I was like, okay, I had no problem with that. Let me use the bathroom, but he walked out. Okay. And just came around here with a sign. So. All right, you want to? Yeah, I'm going to go to foreign help process and all that. I, I was, well, was going to say bold. I got to go down there because I've got my cuffs. <laughs> well, my cuffs are in the cuff truck. <laughs> well, then you want to transport them? Well, I don't need to tie three people, two people up for one person's job. I'll give you a pair of cuffs, too. I got like five sets. That's fine. So just give them back to me. <laughs> You only got one set yeah. of cuffs, Corporal? Two. I'm gonna put this in here so we make sure he gets his property back. Sergeant. Sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Corporal, you got it. Stubborn people. Cry about it. I'll give you a set no, home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, help him out, please. If you don't mind, sir. No problem. That's what I get paid to do, right? I was trying. I was trying to not go this route, and I was trying really hard to be nice. But look, just you can go stand across the corner, brother, and do what you want. I do my best to give all. I, 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 I try my best to give all veterans as much room as I could possibly but give. But even if he wasn't, he wasn't being rude at first. And I said, look, dude. I said the reason they're asking you to leave is because you're standing out here at the front city hall, even with a great message. There's a bunch of ladies that up guy, here. That guy, the motorcycle, he took his ID, but I put it back in the mailbox because he left. So, uh, anyways, I'll, uh, I'll grab a case number and I'll come to the office. Yeah, no problem. Cool. I'll meet you there. Thanks, man. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Ten nine five is going to turn over to four forty for transport, and he'll advise my in just a minute. I'll be clear. Status three. Can I have a case number? Forty five zero four five. Hold on a second, sir. Go ahead. Come up here to change the thermostat and dag um, drop off my direct deposit. And as I pull up, there's a guy walking up with a sign. And apparently, he came in to use, while I was upstairs, he came and asked to use the bathroom. And um, he had like a homeless veteran sign. But he wasn't like pandering or asking for money, he was just holding the sign. So he comes in to use the bathroom and then walks directly back out doing the use the bathroom and then comes back around and stands in front of City Hall just showing the sign. Normally not breaking any laws. The ladies up here didn't feel comfortable with him just standing up here. So they were asking me to ask him to leave. And I'm like, all right, cool, it's city property, no problem. And uh, he wasn't up here doing any business or anything like that. And so I go start talking to him and uh, he's playing the game. And after asking him four or five times to leave and he gave me his first name, 
And then he says, well, am I being trespassed? I says, look, man, you're not breaking the law. I said, but the ladies don't want you up here. So essentially, if you don't want to leave, I can trespass you and then make you leave the property. And uh, so then I asked him for his identification because it kept going. He started playing the game, started recording the, recording the interaction, trying to draw it out. I told him, go ahead and give me your ID. And I asked for it several times. He wouldn't do it. So I arrested him for obstruction. So I'm on my way to 400. All right, bye. Four thirteen. Can you turn on my case number, please? I'm sorry. Shut my video down until I get back uh, to the PD. 440 is transporting the 1095 for me for obstruction.